everybody, it's Aunt Becca today, and I've got a new story for you. This one's kind of funny. Um, it is called, The Day Veronica Was Nosy, Nosy, by Elizabeth Laird. And um, one of the reasons why I like this book is because my sister's name is Veronica. So let's find out about The Day Veronica Was Nosy. I love reading. Have you guys been doing a lot of reading too? Awesome. You should have your mommy take a video of you reading so I can see you guys reading stories too. All right, let's find out what is gonna happen today. The mother hen woke early on a windy autumn day on Goosling Farm. She peered through one black eye at the daylight and squawked at it. She woke her sisters who lifted their heads. She sh shook their combs and cackled for their breakfast. Cluck, 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 cluck. Duncan, the little red tractor, was waiting in the barn too. Morning all, said Stan the farmer as he opened the barn dorms. Time to fix the fence. You guys see it? There's the little red tractor and all the chickens. Stan jumped into the cab and turned the ignition key. The little red tractor shook, <coughs> coughed and spluttered as it warmed up. And as soon as it was running smoothly, Stan drove out into the farmyard. He hitched the trailer up to Duncan and then piled some posts and wire into it and threw in a bag of tools. Easy does it, he says, as he steered Duncan out into the road. So there's the farm. And there he is loading up the tractor. Duncan chugged down to where the cows were grazing in Five Oaks pasture. They raised their heads from the thick wet grass when they heard Duncan coming. They knew the little red tractor. He didn't bother them. They went back to their munching. But Verona, Veronica, the youngest calf, kicked up her heels and trotted over to see what was what. Veronica was nosy. There she is. She left all of her family and she's going to find out what's happening. Ooh, let's see what's going on here. Duncan stopped under a tree. Veronica stopped behind his rear wheels and sniffed at Duncan's big black tires. Stan got down and inspected the fence. Veronica inspected it too. Stan found a hole and Veronica found it too. Stan fetched his tools and a new fence post from the trailer. Veronica watched him. Out of my way, little one, he said. I can't get any work done with you under my feet all the time. <laughs> A puff of wind blew and a shower of yellow leaves out of the trees and Veronica darted off to watch them. Stan finished fixing the post, got back into Duncan's cam and drove toward the next gap in the fence. Suddenly, the little calf leapt back again. She was nearly under Duncan's wheels. You little rascal, shouted Stan. He swerved the tractor just in time. Duncan missed Veronica, but he bumped into the old hollow creek tree at the edge of the pasture and Stan jumped out to inspect the damage. Oh man, you see, he ran into the tree, that nosy little cow. Veronica inspected the damage too. She poked her nose into the old hollow tree and pawed at it with her sharp little hoof. Whizz, buzz, a stream of short, fast, noisy things came swarming straight past her. Veronica chased after them. She had never seen hornets before. She didn't know that they could sting. Moo, moo, hoo, hoo. The little calf leaped, shook her head up and down, and ran away across the field. There she is, sticking her nose in where it doesn't belong. I guess we'll see what's going to happen, huh? Stan ran up to her. Hey, girl, what's the matter with you, he said. Veronica didn't hear him. Her nose hurt. An angry hornet had stung her. She raced to the trough and plunged her sore nose into the water, and Stan ran after her. 
here she is. Bzz. Silly little cow. The hornet spotted them. They turned in midair and buzzed angrily. Stan took a step backward. Oh dear, hornets, he said. He took another step backward and the hornets came closer. Help, shouted Stan, and he ran as fast as he could. There he goes, he's trying to get away. Oh man, they didn't like having their house ran into, huh? Duncan was nearby with his cab door wide open. Stan jumped inside and shut it. There was glass all around him now. He was safe inside Duncan. Phew, said Stan and wiped his forehead. Good thing you were here, Duncan. Those hornets can't get in here. Oh my goodness, look at all of them. Good thing Duncan was there to save him. The hornets were still angry. They hated having their nest disturbed. It had taken them a whole year to build it. They flew around Duncan and buzzed. They settled on his long red hood. They crawled all over his exhaust pipe and looked in through the windows. They even tried to sting his tires. Stan started the engine with a roar. The hornets didn't like it. They hovered for a moment and then they seemed streamed away past their old nest over the marsh and on up the river to build a new home by Mallard Pond. <laughs> there's a pond and there's looking in the exhaust pipe and the windows and trying to sting the tires. No, Duncan's tires was no. They couldn't get them. Veronica was still at the trough. Stan got down from the tractor to take a look. She jumped a bit, but she let Stan touch her nose. She trusted Stan. Let's see your poor old nose, he said. And the calf licked his hand with her rough pink tongue. Hmm, said Stan. Not too bad. Lucky you've got a good thick skin. You'll be better in no time. Find out what's going to happen next. There we go. Veronica was feeling better already. She spotted a field mouse in the grass and bounded off to investigate. The mouse ran near the hollow tree. Veronica stopped. She wouldn't go near that tree again. Not for a while anyways. Stan watched her and laughed. She'll be all right, he said. <laughs> and then, I'm glad you were nearby when I took those hornets began to chase me. He put Duncan into gear and the little tractor rumbled off over the field, his engine humming cheerfully. The end. Well, I hope you guys like that story and I'll see you soon. Bye.